Hi there, and welcome back to the Great Amazing Collection Unboxing. We are on box number 56. This week I picked a big, big box to make up for a little tiny box last week. This one is labeled Boxed Models and is actually a case from Reeves International of Briarfest Celebration Models. So this is what I always had to do back in the day is you bought your stuff at Briarfest and then you had to ship it home. So this was what we used to ship our horses home because we live on the West Coast. Now I drive. So our first horse is the Briar Running Mare. She is the Just About Horses Anniversary Edition. Um, it comes with the 25th Anniversary issue, issue of Just About Horses. Number 1106, Just About Horses, 25th Anniversary Edition. 25 years from 1975 to 2000. So I bought this because I had to have, I love all the paperwork and stuff, so I had to have that special edition Just About Horses. Um, the Running Mare wasn't my favorite. She's a dark-headed chestnut Appaloosa. Not my favorite color, but she sat on the shelf for a long time because I had to have that. Uh, magazine so she got me back in the day and next we have a Corky and Bimbo circus boy um, this is number 1107 Corky and Bimbo horse and rider series from the 1950s television program circus boy so this was originally issued in the 1950s as a set with the elephant and the rider um, this particular collector loved elephants. I think one of our first boxes that we opened a very long time ago was a lot of elephants. So this is a re-release of that set. It's a very nice set, very nicely painted. They did a great job coloring in Circus Boy and all of the details on him. And I particularly like the back illustration. And then it has a little thing on the side about the television program starring Mickey Dolenz of the Beatles, so, or the Monkees. <laughs> so uh, that's a really cool set. I particularly love the illustration and box work on it. Ah, uh, nice. So now we have Nosferatu, one of the Halloween horses. This is the cigar mold in a really cool black with bats on a kind of a reddish, bluish, purplish background. Um, they did a whole series of these Halloween horses. This was one of the early ones. The later ones started coming with like lights and noises and stuff, but a very cool Halloween. I collected all of them because I love Halloween. So I had to collect this horse. Um, he is number 710002 Nosferatu Halloween horse. So I guess he was considered a special run, and I'm gonna say it was from 2002, using my knowledge of the Briar numbering system. Next, we have three more models in here. Oh, let's see what this is. The World of Briar and a 2002 catalog. Some paper ephemera. I'm trying to get these out of here another box coming, I promise. Ooh, she is stuck in here. There we go. Nice. So this is, I think the Briarfest, yeah. This is number 7101104, Nobel 2, the Briarfest Celebration Horse. This is the Andalusian in a very nice shaded gray. He has at the bottom of the box, a trading card. They started doing that a couple of years back and it was a very fun th little additional thing. Um, I don't remember this horse. I was there for it, but I do not remember this horse, but he's very nice. Um, got some eye whites and some very nice shading on him. So this is the Briar Fest horse from, I'm going to say 2004. And then we have Ah, nice. Another reissue set. This is the Fury Prancer and Robin Hood mold. Um, again, a reissue set like the Circus Boy that we saw. This was originally issued in the 50s to cash in on the 
Robin Hood movie excitement and TV show. So it has the Fury Prancer in a nice, this is really cool, I never noticed this, but it's an original uh, rubbery material for the saddle, which is how he was issued with this particular rider. It has the Robin Hood rider with his bow. It comes with a sword. And I can't see if he comes with any arrows. Doesn't look like he comes. He's drawing one out of his quiver, but it's molded onto him. And the horse is also very nice in the white with the resist dapple gray. Um, and then the backing is beautiful artwork. And on the side, it talks about Robin Hood and Prancer. So this was a really cool set. I can't remember if I bought it or not, but I probably did because I love I love the backings and all of that extra stuff. Oh, and here we have another Nobel too. Back in the day, um, you were supposed to be present to pick up your models. So I know I had um, acquired friends from Kentucky who would come and stand in line to pick up our models. Um, and you would always buy several models, of course, so that you could compare and get the one that had the best shading and the nicest look. And of course, you also got, once they started doing them, um, the extra special run tickets. So we have two of the Briar Fest horses from 2004. So that was a little bit of a quick box. Hope you enjoyed it and join me next week and we'll see what I pull out of the box then. Thank you.